Google Arts and Cultures has a free game that's supposed to teach you image prompting. And I thought we'd take a look at it. Hey guys, John Alder here from CodingMe.ai. And basically this game gives you an image and then you're supposed to sort of reverse engineer the prompt that would have created that image. And then Google scores you on it and gives you a score and then you go to the next level and it gets a little bit harder as you go along. So let's check it out. Okay, so let's head over to our web browser. So this is a little bit hard to find, so I'm just gonna Google it. And it's Google Arts and Culture. Say what you see, right? And here it is. And even the URL is a little weird. It's artsandculture.google.com slash experiment slash say what you see slash this whole weird thing, right? So this is basically it here where we can launch this experiment. And if you're not familiar with Google Arts and Culture, it's just, uh, it used to be Google Arts. It has a bunch of images and things, already type stuff. I'm not sure why it's connected with this image prompt thing, but I don't know, that's who created this. So let's go ahead and launch this experiment. And here we see the little thing. We just play it in our browser. So it says, are you ready to learn the art of prompting? Start level one. And down here, the little floating brain says, I've generated images with Google AI. You have to try and generate a close match with your prompt that you typed in. So let's go ahead and click start level one. And it gives you a little hint at the beginning of each level, which is nice because I don't know how else we're gonna learn, but it says include information about the medium, the subject and the context. So the medium would be a painting, the subject would be a dog and the context would be a field. So, all right. Level one's not too bad. It gets harder quick, <laughs> especially if you don't know anything about art. So here we have, okay, we've got the image here. There's not much to it. We have to try and write a prompt that would create that image. So I'm gonna say uh, image of a color gradient. It looks like a color gradient to me with teal on top, uh, moving down to pink at the bottom. I don't know. So here it kind of creates your own image from the prompt and then tries to match it up. And this says it's a 75% match. This does not seem like a 75% match because it's sort of sideways instead of up and down and the pink is on top instead of at the bottom. Uh, but whatever, we got a match, we can go to the next one. And this little guy gives you little tips along the way. It's supposed to help you, you know, be a better prompter, but uh, whatever. So, all right, let's try it again. So here we have a bowl of, looks like ramen. Uh, with a, is that a soft boiled egg? And some and green veggies? I don't know, <laughs> right? Maybe that's what that is. Hit enter. It's generating our thing. How did we do? And eh, pretty good, 80% match. It's, you know, kind of similar. All right, we'll take it. And usually there's three of these per level and then you move on to the next one. So, oh, okay. So a, uh, let's say image of a city street with skyscrapers. Let's say image of a city street at street level, <laughs> looking up with skyscrapers. I don't know, good enough. Let's try it out, <laughs> generating. I don't know that I'm getting any better at prompting by doing this, but okay, 62% match. And as the levels go up, your match has to be higher, higher percentage. So I think, what did it say here? The level one is just has to be like 50%. So, all right, we go on and we pass level one. Wow, you're pretty good at this. Keep it up, says the brain. I don't know about that. I don't think I'm very good at this. So, okay, let's try the next level. I'll probably die here pretty quick. Well, do you die in this game? I'll probably lose here very quick. Okay, so level two, we need a 60% match to pass. And here it says, include information about the art period and the materials. I don't know anything about any art periods or materials, so well, let's see how we do. <laughs> All right, so let's say, uh, what is this? A painting of a circus tent with what? Various cartoon animals in front. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get this one. I don't know what the art period is for this. Hey, look at that, that's not bad. Come on, 45% match. Come on, <laughs> it's pretty good. I don't know, try again. Uh, painting of a circus tent against a red, what is that? Like, I don't know, back drop. I don't know, let's try that. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna die so soon. I did this earlier just playing around, 46% match, come on. Uh, try again, let's skip this one and I got, Past level two. Wow, look at that. Uh, let's see. A black and white 
photograph of a cat in a dress. Is that a dress? I don't know what that is. Generating. 79% match. Look at that. All right. I'll take it. So, oh, we skipped it, but look, see here. We didn't pass. We failed. Okay. So let's say uh, sculpture. Is that sculpture? Of an elephant head with eyes and trunk showing. I don't know. 61% match. We'll take it. So now what happens? Do we pass? We skip this artwork. Impressive. Next time, let's see if you can get a full house. Okay, so it lets us at least go on if we skip something. That's nice. Next level. Oh, a cubist sketch of. So the art style and the technique. I know absolutely nothing about art styles. So I think we might have to cash out here. Ooh, what is this? What is that? A charcoal? How do you spell charcoal? Charcoal. Uh, sketch of, what is that? A hillside next to a lake. Is that a lake? I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely a charcoal sketch, right? Seems like. Boom, 81%. Look at that. I'm so good at this. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's say cartoon pink background. Say image of. A cartoon pink background with green palm palm tree palms. I don't know. I don't know. Seventy six percent match. That looks horrible. I, I'm still not quite sure what I'm learning here. All right, so let's go embroidered red roses with green leaves and black vase. On a brown cloth. I don't know. We get three out of three. Can I pass level three finally? Oh, so close. Come on. Try again. Uh, on a, and let's say on leaves and a black embroidered. Am I spelling embroidered vase? Embroidered, right? I don't know. Let's run that and see. Come on. Boom. 76. I don't know how much better that was from the last one, but we passed <laughs> on to level four. This is ridiculous. I don't know. This is kind of fun, but I don't know how much I'm actually learning about image prompt generation, creation, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Okay. Here we need details about the framing of the scene viewed from close up. Okay. I can do that. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's say a cartoon sketch of a house of a room in a house. Oh, you also notice that you only have so many characters with bay windows overlooking the ocean outside. I don't know. The framing, we didn't do anything about framing, so well, that's not bad, actually. Let's try it again. Uh, cartoon sketch of a room in a house with bay windows centered in the room overlooking the ocean outside. So framing, right? 47, that's not bad, come on. Let's try again. So cartoon sketch of a room in a house with one large bay window centered in the room and four Smaller windows facing ocean. I don't know. I think we might be stumped here. Forty-four <laughs> percent match. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna skip this one. Ooh, okay. Let's say a sculpture. Sculpture of a horse on a wooden block against a brown wall sculpture of a wooden sculpture of a horse with one paw raised i don't know let's see what we got here can we get any of these in level four boom 80 percent. that looks horrible <laughs> I don't know. all right well let's see what level five has to say expand on what you see in the setting in a field with wild flowers okay we just have to, oh, 
Uh, industrial hallway stretching into the distance with fluorescent. I don't know how you spell fluorescent. Close enough. Fluorescent. No, that's wrong, but good enough. Maybe with an S. I don't know. Lights in the ceiling. There's no way we're going to get this one. Um, hmm. Okay. Try it again. Industrial hallway vanishing in the distance. I don't know. Just do that. <laughs> hmm. Dot, dot, dot. Industrial hallway vanishing into the distance. The distance? I don't know. Well, it seems like we've lost, or the thing has just decided to stop playing with us. Either way, I don't know. It's kind of fun. You can resume. You can share. You can exit. Let's exit. And we're back at this thing. So artsandculture.google.com slash experiment slash say what you see with dashes. And then this whole string of gobbledygook. I don't know what their deal is, why they can't make this readable. But uh, just Google it. You'll find it. Play around with it. It's kind of fun. I don't know that it helped me become a better image prompt writer, but maybe it did. I don't know. <laughs> but that's all there is to it. So my name is John Elder from Codemy.ai, and I'll see you in the next video.